And with the opening of the Second Avenue subway, businesses on the Upper East Side are celebrating. Many store owners happy to see construction-free sidewalks, a lot more foot traffic. One said the scaffolding and fences blocked her gift store every day since she opened two years ago, but now is a time for a fresh start. We had a business on 3rd Avenue that was wonderful, and we moved down to 2nd, and since we've been here for two years, it's... Uh, we've we've been suffering, so now we're looking forward to new and exciting things for 2017. And while store owners hope for a business boom, people who live in the area are just ready for the neighborhood to get back to normal. But the Upper East Side may never be the same. The Second Avenue subway expected to open the door for landlords to jack up rents. That's right, and that could significantly change the makeup of the neighborhood for years to come. Lydia Serrani live in the Upper East Side with reaction to that. With every good thing, there's a bad yeah. side, and that's it, Lydia. I know, Steve. Why does it always have to be that way? A lot of people move into this neighborhood after college. There's also a lot of rent stabilized apartments. So, this neighborhood, Yorkville, is one of the most affordable areas in the entire city. But that may soon change. They say good things come to those who wait. Well, the wait for the Second Avenue subway was almost a century. And commuters say this is better than good. I think it's absolutely beautiful. The artwork is spectacular. It's so big and it's, there's so much space to move around. Street Easy, a real estate website, has now named Yorkville the hottest neighborhood in Manhattan. I have lived here a long time. I've lived here over 30 years. I always thought Yorkville was the hot neighborhood. Street Easy is also reporting that people living near the three new stations could face monthly rent increases of almost $500. People pay high rents as it is in this neighborhood. So could you imagine just because they put a subway, they're going to raise the rents? I'm hoping my rent doesn't go up, but if it does, I might have to move to one of the other neighborhoods. For rent-regulated tenants, uh, they have a right to renew, and our office can help them. City Council Member Ben Kalos grew up in Yorkville and also rents an apartment here. For folks who are market rate, just like me, there's really not much you can do. We're hoping that landlords will be gracious and kind to those who made this neighborhood what it is. Right now, the average rent in Yorkville is $2,700 a month compared to the rest of Manhattan at 3300 If the predictions are right and rent rises substantially, for many who live here, Yorkville may soon be their last stop before leaving the city altogether. So when you retire, you'll have to move? Of course. You won't be able to afford anything. And it's not just people who live in this neighborhood that are worried about rents possibly going up $500. Restaurant owners we spoke to are also worried. They're afraid they are going to see their rent skyrocket and they'll also be priced out. That's the latest here from Yorkville. I'm Lydia Serrani, Fox 5 News. Back to you in the studio.